Okay. Um, I noticed a lot of... There will always be some diehard fanboys. I noticed a lot of commenters on various vid channels uh, saying that they were going to make the switch away from, Nike, uh, away from Canon after the announcement of the Canon 5D Mark IV and its abysmal... Uh, uh, retro 2012 technology and it's incredibly high price. Um, after spending about six hours with the Fuji X-T2, and this is not it, this is the X-T1, um, uh, the X-T2 has faster autofocus tracking than even the Nikon D500. And uh, unlike your camera, it's made in Japan with an all magnesium chassis. Uh, far better customer service and uh, you know, um, you need to, why don't you make the switch? You know, like grab a Nikon uh, D810 used for like $1,300 and grab a uh, Fuji X-T2. Uh, I would like to quote <clears throat> one of my favorite movies of all time for all Canon users out there. I'm going to quote the little, uh, the little lady with the glasses and uh, speak to the, uh, the, children of Ni uh, of, uh, <laughs> the children of Canon who are upset at uh, Canon's announcement. And <clears throat> let me quote uh, this uh, movie line. Cross over, children. All are welcome. All are welcome. Go into the light. There is peace and serenity in the light. Cross over to Fuji, canon children. Cross over. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um... Honestly, I mean, I have to be dead serious. If I were a Canon fanboy and I'd waited four years for a camera that was rocking UHS-1 cards and was $3,500, I mean, that's ridiculous. And the 4K video codec is so bad that one hour of 4K video is like 250 gigabytes. Wow. And, uh, jeez. No tilt screen and, uh... It's got a tiny little viewfinder, the same as the uh, the prior version of Canon. Man, I challenge any of you Canon fanboys when the X-T2 comes out to go just stick up your eyeball against the viewfinder of the X-T2. Okay, and then turn it on and then go like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Make the switch. Okay. Listen, I don't make a penny what, regardless of what anybody buys, you know? Someone... <laughs> I'm not sponsored by anybody, nor am I ever going to be sponsored. Nor do I even want to be. Um, so, you know, I don't have a... You know... I don't have a horse in the race. Buy whatever you want. But if you are going to irrationally rationalize to yourself, well, this is canon, and I love canon. I'm going to stick with canon! Even if this camera sucks, I'm going to stick with Canon. I love Canon. You know, then that's that's not the right reasoning. It's just not. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, a lot of people do that. That's kind of like uh, the same sort of syndrome of like uh, battered wife syndrome. It's like the husband is beating the wife and, you know, the wife's like, why don't you just leave? It's like, well, I don't know. I've been with him for years. Maybe it'll work out. Which is just a horrible thing, you know. Nobody should stay with somebody that's abusing them. You know, it, it's kind of like that. It was really the same sort of mentality as, like, you know, a battered wife. It's like, why are you sticking with him? You're, like, covered in bruises. Well, you know, we have children, and I've been with them for so long. When they have children, that's kind of like saying, well, I've got the lenses for this camera. It's like, I don't know, I've got Canon glass. I better stick with Canon. I just better stick with it. That is a really a perfect analogy. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>